Oh, hi there. You'll uh, forgive me if I'm sipping on my tea today. Uh, I woke up with a fucking sore throat, and it sucks, and I've got post-nasal drip and all that crap. Uh, but who would win? We're still doing it. I'm going to have to be a little easier on my voice today. But uh, So this one comes to us. From, I also have the last, yesterday's also already recorded. I just haven't uploaded it. So I'll upload that and this one in puppies here. Um, so this one comes to us from Corin O'Keefe, who asked the question, who would win a fight, Judge Dredd or the Punisher? Now, with Judge Dredd, I mean, he's existed in comics for years. There's obviously the Stallone version. There is the Carl Urban version. Uh, you didn't actually specify what version, Corn. so I've just got to uh, basically give a roundabout version of Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd is, he is the law, uh, or I am the law. So he is the law. In the dystopian future, drug judges are basically the judge, jury, and executioners. They are the law. They they represent the law, and they go about and solve and you know bust up crime lords, drug rings, you name it. They do it. Dredd was particularly effective at his job. Now, as a uh, police officer, a law enforcement officer, he does have significant hand-to-hand -hand combat training. He has. Um, uh, you know, oh god, uh, what am I, what, what's the term I'm looking for here? Does have some level of negotiation. He's gotta be able to show some level of tech and, um, 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 and judgment with his actions. So, he, he isn't a dumb individual or anything like that. Um, but he is a violent prone individual. So, he has hand to hand combat training, obviously. <clears throat> he has his gun that has so many forms, it's not even funny. You got what? Single shot, double shot, rapid fire, or double whammy, double whammy, rapid fire. Um, incendi incendiary. I'm trying to think what else he had on that thing. Um, yeah, because he had a lot of, he had a lot of functions. He had the standard one, the double whammy, which is pretty much two, uh, two blasts at once. The rapid fire, which is pretty much machine gun fire. The incendiary, which is pretty much firing like a flare. Uh, I I I feel like there was more to it than that. Let's see, Judge Dredge's weapon. Hold on. Uh, Judge Dredge's weapon. There you go. Weapons. And you can hear you can hear it in my voice too. Uh, so yeah, he also has a nightstick. I remember well, it's a titanium. Uh, well, the day stick, which is a which is a um, uh, a nightstick with a titanium rod in it. But his lawgiver, the lawgiver machine pistol, is the standard stuff uh, uh, sidearm used by Judge Dredd. It fires six different kinds of bullets. <clears throat> is programmed to explode when used by an unauthorized user. Good to know. Uh, a pump action shotgun, the Widowmaker 2000, a fully automatic shotgun used by the street judges. Uh, spit carbine, a small caliber automatic weapon, okay. The, the day sick, a nice stick with a titanium core, boot knife, he has a knife on it, exorcist bullets, uh, and a recent addition to his inventory. They are designed to be used against supernatural foes, wouldn't matter in this case. Law rod rifle, which was the standard rifle carried by all street guns and a holster on the side of the... Lawmaster's bike, okay. Uh, riot foam, uh, used by judges to quell riots. Good to know. St a stub gun. Um, oh, I'll look under the lawgiver's actual and uh, actual differences in just a minute. Uh, stub gun's extreme point, two-handed uh, laser rifle used to slice through almost any substance in an incident. For a while, the weapon is very powerful. It's sustained uh, use. So, excuse me, sustained use may lead to it overheating and exploding, killing the user nearby. So, you got to be careful using it. Stun gas and total annihilation device is a nuclear warhead of a massive explosive power capable of obliterating an entire mega city in a single cataclysm explosion. Why does J. Okay, that's. I don't think he carries one of those on him, does he? Uh. <clears throat> I. Okay, I don't think he actually carries one of those on him. Plus, he also has the, his particular, uh, the Lawmaster, which is a motorbike used by Street Judge. Has artificial intelligence, twin machine guns, a laser, can fire stun grenades. Has a turbo boost function, which enables to ju uh, jump long distances. Uh, hoverboards. The Manta is a vehicle, which is used uh, with serious 
disturbances as see oh it's used to deal with serious disturbances like street riots the paddy wagon the birdie a handheld lie detector used by judge dread uh can operate even when held behind the user's back while the person is being tested um yeah he's got a lot of stuff geez i didn't even realize judge red judge dread had this much stuff but the lawgivers because that's his basic weapon his his main weapon Standard weapon, as they put it. The Lawgiver uses, they say, six different kinds of ammunition. One second here. Uh, okay. We got ah, the general purpose. Armor piercing. That was it. Armor piercing. Rubber ricochet. So he's got rubber bullets in there. Incendiary. Grenade. High explosive. Fires a shell that detonates, uh, but it has a little fragmentation. And a heat seeker. Uh, uh, a heat seeker over caliber round of the semi armor piercing bullet that has a lead alloy sheath and dense metal core which contains the sensor basically has a fin control surface it essentially is a homing missile or a homing bullet jesus there have been upgrades to these things and we do see these in the movies quite a bit uh the lawgiver i mean in the original judge red movie and the carl urban judge red where it looked pretty good honestly it was a pretty soft looked like an actual functioning weapon the other the other versions like the one they're showing right here the mk1 model Actually looks pretty stupid. Uh, looks like it's the future gun. Uh, Punisher is Frank Castle. Obviously, if you don't know the story of the Punisher yet, I'm surprised you're watching my channel. Uh, to recap real quick. Former soldier Frank Castle lost his family to the mob. He basically became the Punisher to avenge not just his family, but pretty much anyone who is a victim of crime like that. He felt he had to clean the streets up his own way, so he went, became the Punisher. As a former, um, as a former uh, military or as a former soldier, he has expert hand-to-hand -hand training uh, and continue to improve. He's pretty much in peak performance, just like Dread would be. Uh, he has a wide arsenal of weaponry. He's a great strategist and tactician. Uh, he has no mercy, really, whatsoever for the for villains. <clears throat> but uh, he is still limited by mo more modern technology. Granted, the only thing Judge really has that's more futuristic than him is lasers. So there's that. And even then, lasers exist in the Marvel universe. So he, there's no saying telling he there's no really saying he couldn't get his hands on one. Um, Judge uh, no, excuse me, the Punisher is adept in using any weapon. So if he got a hold of any of uh, the Judge's weapons, save for his Lawgiver, oh, excuse me, he should be able to uh, take him on and use that weapon uh, to his full effect. Uh, normally speaking, he carries around machine guns, Uzis, shotguns, pistols, knives, you name it, he probably carries these. He probably has a bazooka, missile, uh, turrets on call. If he's gonna lure someone to a fight, he may have that on call as well. Um, <clears throat> he also does have the Frank Mobile, which is not called that, it's just his, you know, his mode of transportation. Uh, and he uses that to get around. So in a fight between these guys, let's say Punisher is sent to an alternate future where Judge Dredd is, uh, you know, running the show. And, well, basically Judge Dredd's future. Judge Dredd's future. And they would meet up and Dredd sees him very much as a threat. So they, I am the law. Or, you want me, I mean, say it right now. You want me to do this to law or you want me to do Carl Irvin? I am the law. I am the law. It's a little hard to do the Carl Irvin voice because it's just a standard rough, gruff, macho voice, whereas, you know, I'm, I am, <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, the, he, he, uh, you know, has the bike fire off some shots of, you know, tear gas, but Frank just gets out of the way and starts firing at him, Judge Red gets out of the way, and, you know, now he ducks, and, you know, Punisher's ducking into uh, an alley or a building, an abandoned building, let's say, and that's where the real fight takes place. Basically, he tells the motor bike to wait there and goes in. He's got it's got most of his main weaponry on call. So, you know, I'll give you a chance right now. Come out and your sentence will be, your sentence will be, um, uh, come out, surrender yourselves. And you'll be granted leniency. So, like, I got a better idea. How about you, how about you leave and let me go? <laughs> so, and then you don't have to die. Well, that's that's not how the law works. It's like, yeah, that's why I took matters in my own hands uh, to punish those who deserved it. So, so you know, I was like, very well then. So you then you as your sign your own execution. And basically, they'd be playing cat and mouse for a little bit. 
Punisher then starts firing on Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd fires back. A lot of back and forth. <clears throat> um, you know, he's a like, rapid fire. You know, double whammy. Yeah, armor piercing. Yeah, all that stuff goes through. Punisher, though, wears body armor just like Dredd does. So, really, these guys may be taking some flesh wounds, but there's nothing really uh, that's going to be stopping them. Dredd tries to pull out one of his other weapons, uh, and, you know, Punisher eventually... You know, cl uh, collides right into it, and they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Now, I believe Dread is supposed to be, like, peak physical, whereas <clears throat> Punisher isn't peak, but he's close to it. He's a guy who's in extreme shape. Um, because I believe that Judge Dredd is created, like, he was, like, a genetic creation. Um, so, you know, they're going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Now, in terms of the actual hand-to-hand -hand combat experience, though, and actual skill, I do think Frank's the more skilled fighter. So Frank's got a knife in his hand. Judge's also got a knife. You know, he, he made them drop the lawgiver. So they're going toe to toe. Physically speaking, Judge is the better specimen. But you know, uh, Frank just has more on the battlefield, on the combat battlefield experience because J Dread, while even though living in a more dystopian future, is still a cop. His hand to hand uh, experience is good and impressive, but it doesn't really. You can't really compare a cop to a soldier. That's that's doesn't work that way. So Frank's using what he knows to kind of get, like, starting to like get some solid shots in a dr uh, uh, dread. Dread though is also a smart guy and he knows his weapons perfectly. So what he does is he throws Frank towards his uh towards his gun, basically that he draws. The lawgiver's like near Frank. Frank sees it. He pulls out another gun and then Frank goes for his gun, tries to use it, and poof, ah blows up. Basically his head just blows up and then and then Dread's like yes, <laughs> uh, life's life. Death, you know, execution, uh, justice is served, then blows, then shoots Frank in the head. See, what really kind of gives Ju Dr uh, Judge Dredd the advantage here is the fact that the lawgiver, his main weapon that he could very much lose in a fight, is only supposed to recognize his hand. It will explode otherwise. And Frank is someone who was an opportunistic fighter in like a in a dirty like a straight out fight, which means if he does that, if he sees a weapon that he can use to try to kill someone, he will use the weapon. And he has no idea about Judge Dredd's weapon blowing up in the in the hands of a non judge. So he would go for it, and that would be his undoing, really. Now, if that did not happen, would could Frank still win the fight? Yeah, I actually think Frank would prob. That's actually the real thing about it is that most most of their weapons really aren't dissimilar from each other. The lawgiver is the only thing that's mo different because it's multi-purpose and it blows up. Um, the laser really isn't that practical because it's because uh, it's a two-handed laser, and you know, it, it, in this kind of fight, it's not that it's not a practical weapon to use. Uh, you'd really Frank uh, Judge would just be or Dread would just be using most of his firearm more than anything else. Um, so, and you can just hear my voice is just not the same. You can hear the stuffiness in my uh, face, <clears throat> which is why I'm probably going to be drinking tea and drinking hot beverages throughout the day. So, uh, Dread, uh, Dread, Dread wins this fight, not because of a technicality, because physically he'd probably outlast the Punisher in a straight fight, but Punisher is better, more skilled and still a physical, uh, probably at least a physical match for Dread. Uh, it, but the fact is, given circumstances, it's very likely to happen is the fact that a lawgiver would probably be dropped when Frank probably tackles him to the ground or disarms him. And the um, Dread knows how his weapon works, and he understands this guy's probably going to try to go for his weapon. So he would probably. Uh, he would probably set the fight up in his favor by throwing him near his weapon, going for his gun to make uh, the Frank go for the weapon and then blow his hand off and then shoot him in the head. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go Judge Dredd on that this one, actually. At first, I was thinking it was going to be the Punisher, but honestly, no, it's, it's Dredd. Dredd's probably going to be the one that win, uh, wins this one. Now, how often he wins it? Seeing it's the majority, ooh, I'd go 65-35. Just because of the nature of these characters, I think it's more likely that Dredd's going to win, but... Oh, excuse me. I haven't been up for very long. Like, maybe for, like, an hour. <laughs> so, I'm also... I didn't sleep well because of my uh, throat, either. Because I have a tendency to sometimes... Especially when my nose is stuffed up, breathe through my mouth, and my throat's already sore, so that just made shit even worse. 
<clears throat> so, yeah, it's um, yeah, I I go dread on this one, sixty five thirty five. What do you think though? You think dread wins? You think uh, uh, Punisher wins? Let me. Uh, I think it's farther or closer than I made it. Put in the comments below. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Uh, thanks for watching, though. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.